It's one of the most infamous crimes in Albuquerque's history, and it's a cold case that is still unsolved. In February of 2009, the bodies of nearly a dozen women were found buried on the West Mesa. Now six years later, there have been no arrests, but the victims have not been forgotten. Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz takes a look at what their families told our partners at the Journal. It was a shocking, gruesome discovery, a mass grave on Albuquerque's West Mesa. Investigators would dig up the remains of 11 women, one of them pregnant, many of these victims with ties to drugs and prostitution. Now, almost six years later, our partners at the Journal are checking back in with the women's families. We try to see how they're coping with it now, see if it's gotten any easier. She says for a lot of them... Time hasn't, hasn't healed it that much. Um, a lot of that comes from the fact that no one's been caught, I think. Last year, we spoke to one of the women's fathers. I miss her. I miss her terribly, and so does uh, the whole family. The journal also checked in with some of the victim's children, many of who are now in high school and college. They're really growing up at this point, and they're growing up without without their mothers. None of them wanted to do an interview, but the journal has learned many are doing well despite their mother's murders. One of them is an honors student at UNM. Um, another one is uh, second in her class in high school. In Albuquerque, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. To read more, pick up a copy of tomorrow's Albuquerque Journal. Then on Monday, they'll look at where police are in solving this case.